Howdy mates, good afternoon, how are we all doing? It is Wednesday, December 28th, 2022. I'm over down in North Fort Myers. This is just at a uh, small uh, county park in part of Lee County. This is the Caloosahatchee uh, Regional Preserve Western portion. And it's a very short path. Uh, basically, in and out, it's about a mile. So, not that long at all. But, uh, yeah, what we're looking at is essentially a great example of a freshwater marsh right here. Now, given that we are close to the Caloosahatchee. That is essentially how this particular water system is fed. So, you know, with the influx of the wet and dry season, it's bound to say that the water levels in this particular section change quite often. Actually, you can see there's two different uh, great egrets right here. But the thing is, visiting this park, you can just hear all of that highway traffic. Because we are right next to Interstate 75 southbound. So, you're not going to get you're not going to get much quietness at this park, but it's yeah, it's mostly for the general hiker, just to enjoy some of uh, Florida's natural scenery that you commonly find in a freshwater system. So we see a bunch of uh, southern cattail. Uh, they're not quite blooming at the moment. One of my favorite jokes associated with cattails is they're like nature's corn dogs. <laughs> because when you see them in bloom, they have these long tubular flowers. It's basically a it's a cluster of flowers. And they commonly get dispersed by wind. But as a matter of fact, they're actually an edible part. Of cattail as well. There's two native species down here in Florida. You've got the common cattail and then you have the southern cattail. Most likely both species have to do with the range of course. But yes, so basically with cattails the edible part is the actual flower part that I speak of, that tubular part that looks like a corn dog ironic <laughs> however though you have to roast it first because it I believe if you eat it raw it can actually cause severe diarrhea as a matter of fact and nausea so you have to be sure that it is roasted properly beforehand kind of like with what what we do with corn dogs <laughs> then the other part of cattails that are actually edible is the roots, as a matter of fact. They're actually a great source of fiber. Most roots are. But same thing. Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I'll be sure to clarify, I believe you can eat the root raw or cooked. But, of course, I'm going to double check on that. That way I'm presenting accurate interpretation. But cattails often fall under the genus of Typha. And then another plant that I wanted to point out too, just in front of me, is something known as the giant leather fern. So, given that it's named to that, it does appear giant. You know, they can grow as much as six feet tall, so you figure my height. And when you feel the actual leaves belonging to the fern, 
They actually have a very leathery texture, hence the name. And they're actually known to be one of the largest ferns in the natural world. And for another, all ferns in general, they're known to be some of the oldest group of plants. Oh, hear that? Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're one of the oldest plants known. Because even ferns coexisted with the dinosaurs in addition. And ferns are a great example of a seedless, vascular plant. So as opposed to reproducing by means of seed, they actually use spores that you'll commonly find on the underside of their leaves. But yet, they still have vascular tissue that contains water, nutrients, chlorophyll, and vascular tissue. <laughs> Hence why we call it vascular plants. It still has a structure. Oh. Neat little spot, you know, if you're just trying to kill some time. I just, I was already down in the area. Today I actually went to check out the Babcock Ranch Eco Tours for the first time. I'll uh, make a separate post on that because I didn't really make like a formal video, I just have like short little snippets. But there were some aspects of the tour that I did find a little questionable in terms of like how the wildlife was being treated. But I'm not going to digress on that. So thank you for watching you guys. Thanks for watching you filthy animals. No, I'm just kidding. That's going to be an ongoing joke. <laughs> Take care. And journey on a journey is outwards. Take care, folks. See ya.